Hey guys, my name is Shai. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card reading. You got piles one to five and six to ten. I am sorry if these are even more crooked than usual, but they are round and I just spent ten minutes trying to get them to look straight, but I can't do it. So we're just gonna roll with it like this and I hope you guys don't mind too much. So go ahead and pick your card and I will see you in your reading. Okay, card number one. Four of Vessels. This is a no. The Four of Vessels is apathy and ennui, if you like the French word for apathetic boredom of a special snowflake. <laughs> this is kind of a teenager -y vibe, and it is just, it's not really that bad. There's nothing really that bad about the Four of, one, four of Cups. It is just blah it is a blah day and it's just going to be a day you end up forgetting about so whatever you're asking about with the four of cups there's always a, an energy of overlooking something not being grateful for what you have and just basically being bored and apathetic i don't know how else to put it and you don't need to worry about this because, you know, I had a day actually a while ago, like last week, where I pulled the Four of Cups for myself. And yeah, I felt like the Four of Cups all day. I basically felt like a sulky teenager and I knew I was not being grateful for anything that I had. And I was just kind of being bored and dumb. And that's fine. You know, this is a very temporary energy and uh, you're going to move through it. And, you know, things will stop feeling so gray very soon. But don't worry about it. Just let this pass. I wouldn't even recommend doing anything about it. Um, although it is, can be very useful to practice, you know, thinking of what you're grateful for, doing whatever kind of gratitude practices you feel like doing, um, or just wait it out. <laughs> but yeah, the Four of Vessels is obviously a no. Something just is not vibing great for you today. Card number two. The Hermit. I love the Hermit. This is a yes. You guys are looking deep, deep within yourself and you were lighting your own lamp. I will say the one caveat here is if your question was about external validation, if you are seeking external validation or if you're trying to figure out, will I get information from somebody else? Um, will somebody else do something for me? Then this would be a no because the hermit is all about your inner self, your inner light, your inner wisdom, knowing that you are the universe and you are all you need. It is entirely a self-sufficient self-contained energy, not a selfish energy, not even a self-centered energy, just knowing that you are it. You are all you need. So it is a very, very auspicious card and it is very much a yes for anything to do with your own personal growth, your own self-confidence, your own success, your own sense of being on the right track. This Hermit card wants you to know that you are absolutely on the right track. And all you need to know here is that you should just keep being yourself, shine your light, and be unapologetically you. Be you, yourself, and nothing but yourself. With this Hermit card, it is a yes. Pile number three. Ooh, King of Staves. That would be the King of Wands. This is a yes. This is a, a being who has all of the power to accomplish whatever it is they want to accomplish. If you're trying to manifest something, any kind of project, it could be work, it could be moving, it could be your personal life. If you're trying to do something, this is such, such a good sign. You have all of the power. You have the power to manifest. King of Staves. And look, he's like, there's a mountain in the background and he's sitting in front of it. Like he owns all of the land. <laughs> he owns all of the land. And if you're watching this in Leo season, I'm recording this right at the beginning of Leo season. Um, this is really an invitation to let yourself shine, let yourself be seen. The King of Staves is not like the Queen of Wands. This is the King of Wands, right? The Queen of Wands can be a little bit reserved and independent because I always see the Queens as an introvert energy. And the King, this is an extrovert energy. So this is shine your light, let yourself be seen, let yourself lead. Let yourself lead. Give yourself permission to be the leader you wish you had. King of Staves, that is a yes. Card number four. 
five of staves, which is the five of wands. This is a no. This is, wow, this card is really profound coming through this stained glass. All these cards have stained glass um, art on them, but doesn't it really stand out how fracturing this five of wands energy is? It is just so much chaos around you, so much conflict. It isn't necessarily like that dangerous, but it is highly fracturing, highly like you feel like knives are coming at you. The knives won't actually stab you, but you can feel them all around you because you can see they're fighting with sticks, right? So it's like everybody's angry, everybody's yelling at each other and everything is in conflict. Everything is in chaos and it's all happening all around you and you're kind of dragged into it. You find yourself dragged into this chaos. So with the five of wands, you know, it's a no. This is, if you try to go down this path, things will just end up chaotic and angry for you. Things won't go well for you. And there's an invitation here to take yourself out of the chaos. Take yourself out of the conflict. You don't need to be one of these people fighting with these sticks. Put down your stick, put down your stones, and walk away. <laughs> five of Wands is a no. Card number five. Ooh, the Page of Pentacles. This is a yes. This is somebody getting a brand new fresh start. If you're asking about money, this is a new fresh start to your finances. Same thing with your career. I know so many people are worried about money right now with good reason. You know, this this page, the page is not, you know, complete riches. This is not overwhelming wealth, but this is you having exactly what you need, you know, so you can practice appreciating the abundance that you have and feeling into the abundance that you truly are. And, you know, yes, you will have enough money to pay your rent. You know, yes, that money problem will sort itself out. You know, even if you end up having to pay your cell phone bill a week late and you get, you know, a $20 late fee, it's not the end of the world. You're going to be fine. <laughs> this page is holding that pentacle. You're going to have enough. You're going to be good. You're going to be fine. And from this energy, the invitation here is to stop worrying about the lack, stop worrying about not having enough, and just tune into the abundance that you have, and that is how you get it to multiply. You know, at some point in your life down the road, you're going to be completely well off, and you're going to have more than enough money, right? Whatever your level of abundance that you want, you're gonna, you can totally have that. So just feel that you already have it. Because remember that your life has already all happened. <laughs> Time is just this construct that we are moving through to have our linear experience. So the future money that you come into, you know, from a higher perspective, you already have it. It is yours. So the money problems that you're having right now are temporary <laughs> and they're just for right now. You have abundance later on. And if you have it later on, you have it now. So yeah, this is a yes. And this, I just, apparently I really feel that People need to know, or people, the universe wants to remind you guys to practice practice feeling your frequency of abundance because that is how you will get your abundance to multiply. So there you go. Card number six. Ooh, the high priestess. Congratulations, guys. She does not come out for no reason. If you're asking about your spiritual journey, you could not have gotten a better card. This is a wonderful, wonderful yes. This is you coming into your power, your sovereign power, your power to stand apart, your power to develop your psychic gifts. She does not come out unless there's some level of intuitive development here. And to operate from a higher dimensional frequency. There's so much going on here. So much going on here. You guys are lifting the veil you are creating your own reality. I don't know what you guys are asking about. There's probably, you could have been led to this pile for a lot of different reasons. So it is hard for me to put together one line of advice here. So just feel into the energy of the high priestess. Know that this is wonderful. Know that this is a yes. Know that you are just being invited to stand in your own sovereign power more and more and to explore the mysteries of yourself and of your universe more and more because the high priestess channels cosmic energy. She is the conduit between the transcendent and the mundane. 
This is a very powerful card and it will mean something slightly different to each of you depending on you know where you are at in your journey but this is really cool. <laughs> so this is a yes. Card number seven. Ten of swords. If you've watched uh, any number of my yes or no videos you know that this is a no. This is the ultimate no. Something is dead and done and will not be resuscitated. That's basically it. <laughs> I have personally tried to turn Ten of Swords. I have tried to deny it. I have tried to go, no, forget that. I'm going to I'm gonna succeed at this, even though I keep getting the Ten of Swords. No, it never happens. It doesn't work. <laughs> if you were led to the Ten of Swords, know that something is done, something is over, something is futile. And I don't see this as a bad thing at all. This is not <laughs> this is not bad. Uh, it is a no, and it is like an ending, and it is a very firm, irreparable ending, but that can be the best thing that ever happens to you. Even if you're asking about a relationship or a job or money or whatever it is, because the universe does not do this to you. You do not do this to yourself. Your higher self would not put you through this timeline if this was going to be terrible. This is all happening for a reason. This cycle is closing out because you are done with it because it is no longer relevant or resonant to you. So this is a no, this is done, this is an ending. But even if you can't see it now, eventually you will look back on this and understand how good this was for you. So congratulations on your no. Card number eight. Justice. Again, we are getting justice every single yes or no I do these days, which is very interesting. I take this to mean that everything is coming into balance into the way it should be. It, I kind of think of it as a, a tuning to the higher template. I think you are coming into balance or coming into the pattern or coming into the archetype of your higher self. And if you're asking about something outside of you, then it applies to that. It, I kind of see in my perception of the cosmos, everything has a higher template or a higher archetype, if you, you know, whichever word you want to use. And as we march back to source, as we evolve or ascend, however you want to put it, we first tune into those archetypes and templates and we like tune ourselves to them. We go back to them and it is a purifying experience because it's like we come down here to earth and we get all covered in mud and we get, <laughs> we get all messed up and we get all messy and dirty. And that's not bad. That is why we came here. That is part of our experience. But at some point, we want to take a shower and rinse all the mud off and get clean and become more of ourselves again. So that is maybe a bit of an unusual unusual message to go along with the Justice card, but I've been talking about the Justice card a lot lately, and I, when this popped up again, I wanted a new way of looking at it, and that was what immediately came through. So this is a yes, and at, in this moment, I see this particular Justice card as a sign that you guys are... becoming more of yourselves. You are tuning in, becoming more aligned to your higher selves, and you're getting all of your energies into balance. And it is just getting you back to how you want to be, tuning into your higher selves archetype, and you're channeling that in a more effective way than you have been doing in your recent past. Card number nine. Ooh, four of swords. That is a no, but... It's not a bad no. This Four of Swords is all about resting and recovering and healing. So, I mean, always pay attention to the way you worded your question and to the energy of the card. You know, if you guys asked, asked, should I take a break and rest? Well, then this would be a yes, right? But I mean, for most things, you guys are asking, should I do this? Should I do that? Is this going to work out? Is this going to happen? Well, all those kind of doing active questions, and this is a no, because this is about like taking a chill pill and just tuning out. If you want to be this person, just lying there. <laughs> somebody who has been exhausted, somebody who's been through a lot of pain and suffering, but finally gets to like march off the battlefield and like lay down and go into a coma <laughs> so that their body can heal. The Four of Swords is coming off, off of the Three of Swords of that really heartbreak, but this is the period of healing. This This person is in a healing chamber. So whatever you guys are asking about, 
it's not happening right now. Not yet. Not now. You need to rest. You need to recover. You need to do your self-care. You need to just take a break. Just relax. Just chill. That's what this card is about. So overall, it's a no. But the greater message here is to just take some time off. You know, in whatever way you can. Card number 10. Six of Swords. This card is actually kind of difficult to give you a yes or no, so I want you to just pay attention to the energy of the card. This card is all about moving on, all about leaving something behind and going on a journey to a new place where you hope things will be better, <laughs> right? You, just imagine, like, I always imagine the Six of Swords as, like, imagine a medieval peasant and their village is attacked by some rival tribe and... <laughs> They, you know, their village is burnt down and they manage to get into, like, one family gets into a boat and manages to flee across the river. And they get to the, uh, and they're just hoping that on the other side of the great river, they will find safety and security and greener pastures, right? And all likelihood is that they will, that things will be better on the other side of the river, but they don't know that yet. They're just on the journey. So this card is all about getting in the boat and leaving, going somewhere putting some faith in the journey and looking to the horizons to see if you can create a better future for yourselves, seeing if you can choose a new reality, choosing again, choosing to go and to leave. So if you're asking about should you make a change, should you make any kind of transition, are things going to be different in the future, then this is a yes. If you asked are things going to stay the same? <laughs> then this is a no, because the card is all about inviting you to change and pushing you off onto your journey into the sunset. So I hope that makes sense. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.